Yo, so you want to make that clay texture that I showed you, right? Don't worry, I got you. You know, the first thing that you got to understand is how we are proceeding it. So the first thing that we will do is what we are trying to do is well, we are taking the texture of the fingerprint. We are putting it onto the object. All right. That's the first thing that we're doing. All right. Because clay is predominantly, you know, covered with fingerprint textures because you're using your hands to make clay you know whatever you make with clay so fingerprints is major thing here for the clay texture all right you can use something else but you know you know you would just make a better clay render with fingerprints anyway and we will give it some kind of roughness uh, a roughness and you know some kind of like a bump well opposite of bump like what would we call like depression like you know when you push down on clay it would form a depression instead of like bump right so that's what we are doing with all the you know, all the fingerprints we have we'll we are putting it down so that's what we will you know make it right so these are two things and the third thing that we will do is we will deform the object a little bit, distort a little bit uh, through modifiers like uh, distort modifier. Uh, was it distort? Displace. Yeah, displace modifier. Uh, why we will do it? Because clay, you know, whenever you make something with clay, it is never like, you know, perfect or, you know, geometrical perfect it would definitely have some kind of like deformation so these are th three things that we will do well first putting it putting the you know fingerprint texture on the object second thing is giving some kind of like depression uh, through that fingerprint texture and third is displacing the object to make it more like clay all right so here's my scene here i have this pot well, you can use anything you want. Well, you can even use a monkey, but it is up to you. If you want to use this, I have link in the description. You can use this. All right. So this is my lighting setup that I've done. If you want to learn how to do lighting setups, I have previous videos. You should watch this. We shouldn't make this video bigger because of that. So anyway, so we are selecting our object and this is a basic material principles bsdf and we have given it you know basic like clay like color like red kind of color anyway so the first thing that we will do is give it give the fingerprint texture right so i have the link in the description you can get that but no uh, you're free to explore you're free to have some kind of creativity uh, you can get any kind of texture you want maybe you should actually get a uh, different kind of fingerprint texture to make it a little bit different than this but uh, for the sake of this tutorial i have a link in the description you can use that as well so i'm gonna put my fingerprint texture here and Whenever, if, whenever you're using some kind of texture you're using as an overlay or something, sometimes you have to, you know, change the color. Well, it is already non-color, but uh, it is sometimes, you know, sRGB. You have to change it to non-color because we are using only the black and white values to use the data. We're not using some kind of like color picture. Uh, so that's why we put it on non-color. All right, so here's our fingerprint texture. We'll tell it, I will tell it how to map it, right? So this is the object. We want it to have actually not the object, but UV, you know, we'll make a UV of this uh, object and we will tell this fingerprint texture to map according to that UV. First of all, we'll just map it, all right? If you have you no know, Wrangler enabled, you can press CTR plus T and this is the mapping. All right. So you can 
you can take this and put it on roughness all right because we are first of all changing the roughness of the principal bsdf right because there there isn't some kind of different colors when you put a fingerprint on any clay that you're working with it would just make uh, the otherwise comparatively shinier clay and make it a little dull just a little bit all right uh, the main thing that it would do the fingerprint would do is you know the the depression thing that i told you but uh, this is uh, the second thing it would do all right so all right so you cannot see it or maybe you can see it but it is not showing correctly uh, which means that we have to go to uv editor uh, and upload your uh, you select your fingerprint texture i've already selected it and then select your object and go to audit edit mode all right so this is not made perfectly <laughs> as you can see but anyway uh, we will select all of it and press u and then go to sphere projection all right so we are using sphere projection because well it is kind of like a sphere so that's why we are doing it well basically that's the reason but anyway so now if we will see i don't know if you're able to see it or not but here's some kind of like texture uh, fingerprint texture oh uh, well we can just make the scale or you know Let's just click on this and press CTR shift and left click if you have no Wrangler enable to see this, you know, to see this, obviously. So we, well, if you know, if, if you know, this is a pot, right? A pot is like a uh, football shaped, right? Uh, around football shaped. And you would know that your fingerprints wouldn't be this big on a football shaped thing it would be smaller so we will scale it down to kind of like well scale up would make it smaller so we would scale it up to make it according to i think this would be about this amount you would have right so yeah all right so this would be uh, let's select this again and press CTR shift and left click to see well as you can see it is still very shiny it shouldn't be this much shiny all right but uh we want to make it less shiny but we have already put this to roughness well we can take color ramp and color ramp what we're using the color ramp for is to give it you know change the contrast basically so black and white is more like more like shiny or rough right so we will change the black to some kind of gray ish color so now as you can see i don't know if you're able to see but there are fingerprints on it all right and this is how you change it all right now i think now you would be able to see it more clearly when i would make that depression thing that i was talking about so all right so here's the bump node all right so now you can take you can connect the normal to normal all right and you can connect the fingerprint uh, the color of the fingerprint to hide all right now you can see that you can, you can see something at least well it is looking terrible obviously because the strength is too much and the second thing is the fingerprints are coming out while it should be coming uh, going inside you know because it's depression uh so first of all we'll change the strength to something about 0.1 i think 0.1 would be good all right and the second thing we would do is invert the bump so that the fingerprint would go inside all right 
So now it is looking more like clay, right? Oh, well, uh, like I said before, you can use the kind of texture you want. It is up to you because you can, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can do better than this because the fingerprints are looking too much and you can, you can kind of do better than this, but it is up to you anyway. So yeah, now this looks more like clay. Now the last thing that you want to do is go to modify. Well, the last thing we want to do is give it some kind of distortion, right? So we'll go to modify and we will take the displace. Well, it is doing something, but no, this is definitely not what we want it to do. So we'll go to texture and add a new texture. All right. So we'll just name it whatever you want, like clay, I guess, and change the type to, I think cloud would be good. You can, you can kind of mess around, but cloud would be good enough for this. So right now it is too much so you would just go back to modify and change the strength to something very low like i i guess point like even point one is too much so let's do point zero five right even this is too much but i guess it is all right let's just do point zero four right so yeah i guess this is more like clay right as you can see the difference without or with, right? All right, so this is basically it. And if you would just go back to here and render it, it will look like clay texture, but you can definitely do better lighting than this. And you can definitely get better texture than this, but I guess this is it. This is the clay texture that you've been looking for. You're welcome. I'm just kidding. Uh, I hope you learned something. Like, subscribe, and I don't know what else. Have fun.